Okay, my Mixie Clock and Vintage Clock followers, this is an unboxing mailbag number two. From Peter at Insidious Nixies. Check out his channel if you get a chance. If you all like the same stuff. Oh, look, we have a little note in here. I've been away from my hobby bench for a while. I appreciate the love and concern. You know, his little channel is kind of interesting. I started posting just some stuff on it. I started with a couple little bulldozers years ago. And then, uh, uh, health reasons, I got into some electronic stuff and these digital clocks. Uh, because of rarity and the age, I just felt I could start documenting them on YouTube. And next thing you know, I'm uh, making friends and um, and this. Very kind individual Peter has been setting me up with some projects here, which I hope to get to soon. I'll probably be part way through the summer before I do, but um, I do appreciate it. We're going to get into box number two here. If you didn't see the unboxing of number one, uh, I'll have them back to back. Just uh, go to my channel and check it out. If you're interested, there's some really big Nixie tubes in that one. Oh boy, I'm opening this here if I get distracted by the the Burroughs B. The Burroughs B. Now, does this box look like it has some age to it? Let's see, is that a 60s patina or a 70s patina? Alright, focus. Back on number one he is labeled this is how we open it I get distracted you get the smiley faces I don't know how he puts them in his emails to me too I gotta figure that out that's always very cute oh yeah this is the vintage stuff you know the lighting I'm not set up very hard with the camera here to get everything I want to do my best but uh, if there's anything else you want to see after this, just uh, leave a message and uh, I'll do a better job at uh, displaying this stuff for you guys. You know, my eyes are bad. I can't even tell if this is in focus. I'm switching from the one and a half to the 2.0s here. So I can see the little screen on the antique camera I'm using. Oh, yeah. So it's not the camera, it's my eyes. All right. Yeah. This is a tech sheet for Burroughs Corporation. Decade counters and beam switching tubes and ultra long life Nixie indicator tubes. Oh, this is very cool. I'll add this to my collection. I have one older Burroughs sheet with Nixie data in them, and this is uh, this would be wonderful to add that to it. And again, I'm sorry for the lighting. I can do better on a, a day. We can do one piece at a time. Any anything you guys want to see, just reach out to me. I'll do better. Oh well. Okay. Put that back in a safe box there. Keep that flat. Now, that was one. This is two. <laughs> Peter, did you pick up on the fact that I'm a little thin guy? <laughs> you know, I'm into this Cadbury egg here. If you didn't see the last video, Right? This box is, you know, it's pretty sizable. Well, yeah, this is a little egg. There's not much left of it. Yeah, it doesn't take me long. I don't have any milk in it. I'll just wash that down. 
Party Edition, Cadbury. Oh boy, it is Easter, that's for sure. Oh boy, check that out. Alright, another piece of this Cadbury egg. We're going to finish this. It's five servings in this Cadbury egg. I think, uh, I think I overdid it. USA plug. We use these here. Very good. Oh, little microfibers. You know, I'm a cheap guy. I um, I never bought these yet to try them out. You got to be good for some really delicate cleaning. Very handy. Thank you. Quick drying, easy care, super soft and absorbent. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, pull these out and put them on the bench. These might be better wide open here, a little better view. Camera may focus on the object and not the box behind it. Let's give that a try. Box number two, in order, right? What are we doing here? Is it the zone? That's the zone. All right. My wonderful camera footage, camera skills. EC105B120. It does say open other end. I'm not supposed to, and it does say open this end. You see how I follow directions, folks? I'm doing it right. It does say open this end. So make sure it doesn't fall out the other end. I already cut the tape on it. Oh, oh, what is in here? Let's see, it just slide out. Well, guess what? I'm going to open the other end too. I might need a little push and shove. Alright, yeah, see? You have to open both ends. That's how it goes. It started to move. Oh, oh. This is, uh,. Camera's gonna shake. We're coming down. I have to sit. This is exciting. This looks fragile. You know that old vintage electronic smell? Some of you know what I'm talking about. You know, put that in a bottle, Calvin Klein, and you might have something. Vintage electronic smell by Calvin Klein. Now, the Nixie tube came out very early before solid state uh, before ICs and I have to this is a little bit before my time but the decade counter I think is what we're looking at beam switching Done with tubes, vacuum tubes.
This is quite the module. Wow. Type DC 105B. Okay. There's a manual there before. There's maybe that data sheet could help us get this fired up. Boy, we get this fired up and counting. I don't know what the voltages are. Hopefully that spec sheet has info on this. Oh, this belongs in a glass case counting away. The integrated circuit came out. A 7490 dual inline package. We're talking three quarters of an inch long. And a 74141 driver. <laughs> Can do everything I think what this does. It's uh and now you look at technology. Uh, it's just the size for what this thing does. This has got to be, you know, the year the Nixie tube came out. So is that mid '60s? I really have to do my Nixie history. <clears throat> but early Nixie tube time frame. There's no integrated circuits. This is how they they started doing this stuff. Some neon light logic, which I don't think this has, but I don't know how all this works. I'll be the first to admit. But this this is I'm glad to have this in my collection. This is really neat. This is really neat. Oh thank you so much. This uh will be cherished. I love the rack mount sorta of drawer handle on this and the uh, phenolic style printed circuit board with the edge connector on this obviously just plugged into something and when it stopped working you pull it out and you swap it with another I'm sure you could fix these too but in a pinch you just pull it out swap it with another one That is neat. That is neat. I think this is called the Decade Counter. This is going to deserve its own video. Alright, this is unboxing. I have one more box to do. I will put this aside. You will see this in a future video, I'm sure. I just hope I can get myself back together. This is just cool stuff. Alright, get the box cutter. Last box, it's already open. Rubber bands. He loves his rubber bands. They're handy. It's all well packed. And it's sent over from Australia. It came within less than a week. Oh, one plain readout. This is a nice big one. I like this. I made a clock with six of these. You may have seen the video. Projection display clock. Edge lit. I forget what I titled it. It's in my video history if you dig back. But there's a gang of six of these. And it had a driver's circuitry board that went with it. 
but what I did was I used a six digit clock chip and I changed it. What you have is the incandescent bulbs in the back here. I switched them to LEDs in that clock. And this one looks like those bulbs are 28 volts. And some of these displays were set up to do images or have messages. The ones we like in the clock collecting world have numeric digits. The size of this thing is really neat. Let's get a measurement of this. My uh, little plus two inches high. And for the metric world, that's about 50 millimeters plus a little bit by, oh, yeah, over one and a half, 40 millimeters. That's a nice, you know. And put that side by side. I wanted to make a clock called the Franken clock and it would have six digits but all different display types. And I started putting the pieces together to do that when my body says, no, we're not doing that yet. But now we're starting to collect some bigger versions. Maybe that'd be interesting to use these in that design. I don't know. There's so much we can do here. There's parts and pieces. I owe it to Peter. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, I have a little something in store for you, Peter, but it can't, it definitely can't repay you for what you've done for me. Um, I do appreciate it. And as I'm sitting here thanking Peter, um, my eye caught this box. <clears throat> Plainfield, New Jersey. You know, it's very close to where I live, the state of New Jersey. We used to manufacture stuff. A lot of electronic stuff back in the 60s. And it just, we don't do it anymore. Sad times. But, um, I have a service book for um, uh, Big Nixie counter here, the HP 5246L electronic counter, and in there is a list of components and the manufacturers. You have no idea how many components are listed in there and where they're all made. In, in that time, we were making it all. But anyway, with that said, Again, Peter, thank you. Thank you for the generous gifts, the candy. I'm going to have to go easy on it. i got to back off on this Easter egg here. <laughs> it's almost gone. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Peter, I will get it finished up in the next week or two and get it in the mail. But you have something coming your way. And like I started to say before, it's nothing to the scale that you have done for me. But... Um, at least mine's a little little different in that uh, I made it with my own hands, so um, it was one of my favorites, but I thought it'd be worth sending it to you, so you can enjoy it. Okay, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. To satisfy my curiosity and to answer your question, you may have the same one, the DC-105B. We have probably everything we need to know, possibly, to get this up and running. That's great. Looks like we got some uh, 110 volt supplies we need to deal with at least one oh we have a 
300 volt supply. Okay. Well, this will be uh, taking me to the next level. Let's see, 330 milliamps. Well, I may have a high voltage supply here that'll actually do that. All right, this will be displayed in the future. Just wanted to follow up before I close the video out.